Okay, great, thanks. Um, yesterday, Ukrainian President Zelensky mentioned that, um, so that they have intelligence that the Russian military has placed objects resembling explosives on the roof of the Aparisia power, nuclear power plant. Is the president monitoring this? Um, has he spoken to Zelensky? And could it possibly impact his trip to, NATO, to the NATO summit? So, um, uh, just a couple of things. We are continuing to monitor uh, the conditions at the power plant closely. This is something that clearly we've been doing for some time. Uh, as we've said before, when uh, you know Russia's continued military op uh, uh, occupation of the nuclear plant is dangerous, and when it comes to a nuclear plant, there should not be fighting there. And so we've been very clear. Uh, but I don't have anything new or specific on the recent reports or anything to share uh, at this time. Uh, don't have uh, any calls, any recent calls uh, to President Zelensky. The president is looking forward to going to the NATO summit, uh, as he will be doing next week, and certainly we'll have more to share on the details of that trip. Thanks, Karine. Uh, actually, following up on that, there's a, there's a movement uh, on Capitol Hill uh, to pass legislation that would uh, state that any nuclear fallout, including from uh, damage to this Appalachian nuclear power plant, would be treated as uh, uh, would trigger Article 5 of NATO if that fallout were to go over NATO territory. Do you support that bill? I'm not going to speak to uh, that particular bill. What I can say is we continue to monitor the situation. Uh, we don't have anything new. Uh, or uh, anything specific on recent reports that you all are uh, certainly reporting from uh, the president, uh, but just don't have anything new to share. But we're going to continue to monitor, and we've been very clear. We've been very clear that uh, Russia's occupation of this plant uh, is dangerous, and there should not be fighting near this plant. We've, been, we've said this before. We've been very clear about this, and we're going to continue to monitor.